Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Man United star dropped by Eric Tenag. The turning up to meetings late twice. Uh, the Athletic have said that it is an unnamed player. But Eric Tenag has laid the laws down as Manchester United manager. Manchester United have enjoyed a good start to pre-season. Played four games so far. Man United have won three and drawn one. Recently drew with Aston Villa 2-2, beat Crystal Palace 3-1, beat Melbourne Victory 4-1 and beat Liverpool 4-0 in Bangkok. Uh, Manchester United's next pre-season game is Atletico Madrid. Now, I want to give you some more news on Cristiano Ronaldo. So, Man United expect Cristiano Ronaldo to stay in this transfer window. Uh, Ronaldo has not yet played any part in pre-season due to personal reasons. Obviously, he has been training alone. Uh, Sky Sports said recently that Man United will only allow Cristiano Ronaldo to go out on loan as Atletico Madrid consider Griezmann's sale. So Atletico Madrid are looking to get rid of Griezmann to get Ronaldo in. Well, it said that Ronaldo's set to join Atletico Madrid as he convinced Diego Simeone to bring him. Uh, plenty of other clubs have been linked to Ronaldo. His former club sport in Lisbon have been in for him. The other week, Ronaldo denied rumours of a return to sport in Lisbon. He described it as fake news. Uh, Chelsea were in for him. Roma have been in for him. Bayern Munich were in for him. Barcelona made inquiries. Uh, he was offered to PSG as well. <clears throat> Ronaldo's contract at Manchester United expires next year. There's an option to extend for a further year. Ronaldo's the highest earner at Man United at the moment. He earns 480 grand a week. Man United re-signed Ronaldo last year from Juventus. Uh, Ronaldo's in his second spell at Manchester United. Uh, since Ronaldo re-signed, he's got 18 goals in the Premier League. He has 24 goals in all competitions. And earlier on this year, he won Goal of the Season award and he got named as Matt Busby Player of the Year. Um, there's quite a lot of players that are going to stay at Manchester United. You know, David De Gea is certainly going to be staying. Uh, De Gea has already mentioned that he wants to finish his career at Manchester United. You know, David De Gea is regarded as one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Last season, he was absolutely sensational. Don't forget, in one of Man United's pre-season games, De Gea came off injured. That was the game against Liverpool. And then, obviously, De Gea missed a game against Melbourne. So, obviously, we'll put Tom Eaton in goal. Earlier on this year, De Gea won the Players' Player of the Year. Well, he's won everything domestically at the football club and he's made over 500 appearances for Man United in all competitions. 
David De Gea has enjoyed 11 years at Manchester United, so he's been a long-serving player. He's been with us since the Ferguson era. De Gea's contract at the club expires next year. He earns around £375,000 a week. Uh, Tom Eaton here will be staying this year. But I think next year could be going. As you all know now, Tom Eaton is second choice because, you know, Man United loaned Dean Henderson out to Nottingham Forest. Man United got Heaton on a free transfer from Aston Villa. Um, I'm expecting Luke Shaw to stay. <clears throat> uh, Luke Shaw... Do you still think he'll remain first choice left back with obviously Man United getting Terrell Malaysia? I thought last season Luke Shaw was very poor, but there again he had injuries. The best season Luke Shaw endured was the season before last. Shaw's been at Manchester United for around nine seasons, so he's been a long serving player. His contract expires next year. Shaw is injury prone, which is a concern. Uh, Terrell Malaysia, of course, you know, he's going to be staying. Man United recently signed him. He's played in pre-season, uh, made his debut against Liverpool, made his first start in the 3-1 win against Crystal Palace. Man United got Terrell Malaysia for around £13 million. He signed a contract until 2026. There's an option to extend for a further year. <clears throat> uh, Brandon Williams, he will probably stay, but he'll be like, what, third or fourth choice left back now, won't he? Well, last season, Brandon Williams was out on loan with Norwich. Um, Harry Maguire, he's obviously going to be staying at the club for this year. Not too sure what's going to happen next year. Well, earlier on this year, Harry Maguire held talks with Eric Ten Hag over the Man United captaincy. Throughout the course of last season, the vast majority of Man United fans were demanding for the captaincy to be taken off Maguire because Maguire's not a leader. When Maguire first came to Man United, I thought he did well. But then obviously he went downhill. Uh, Maguire's had injuries as a United player. Man United overpaid for him, got him for £80 million. He's the most expensive centre-half in the world at the moment and he's the second most expensive sign at the club. Well, was, should I say, when Pogba was here. Maguire's been at Man United for around three years. Uh, Victor Lindelof. I think he'll be staying at Man United, but he may not be staying next year. I think he may leave next year. Um, Lindelof, for me, is inconsistent. I've got my reservations about him. He's had his good games. Uh, Man United got Lindelof from Benfica back in 2017. Got him in a deal worth £31 million. Lindelof has, what, like two years remaining on his contract. I heard that Napoli uh, went in for Victor Lindelof. Um, Eric Bay, he's now staying at Manchester United. Because uh, not so long ago, sources close to the player said that Eric Bay, he's not interested in going elsewhere. You know, he wants to fight for his place at Man United. Uh, don't forget, Fulham wanted Eric Bay on loan with an option to buy. Bah, he's not one of Man United's first choice centre halves. He's a very good centre half, but he's injury prone, which is a concern. Bah, he's under contract with Man United until 2024, so he's got two years left on his contract. We got Bah from Villarreal back in 2016. Man United paid around 30 million. We brought him in under the Mourinho, where he was the first signing we made under Jose Mourinho. Uh, of course, Raphael Varane, he'll be staying at the club. Uh, Varane le needs at least another season. Uh, Varane's recently been injured. 
Varane, since he come, has had his good games at United. He's had his bad games as well. But in general, I don't think he's done as well as a lot of United fans expected. <coughs> You know, Raphael Varane is regarded as one of the best centre-halves in the world. He's highly experienced and he's got a good pedigree behind him. Because look at the amount of silverware he won when he was at Real Madrid. And he was a long-serving player as well at Madrid. He was with them around 10 years. Varane has got a contract to Man United until 2025. Aaron Wan-Bissaka, um, he'll be staying for this year, but he could be on his way out next year. Well, throughout the course of this year, he's been subjected to transfer speculation. Aaron wan is not our first choice right back. He wasn't our first choice right back under Ralph Rangnick, you know, Diego Dallo was. Got my concerns about Bissaka, you know, his crossing isn't that good, he's not really good at attacking, his positioning isn't too good. But on the other side of things, defensively, most of the time, he's been good. Pesaka has enjoyed, what, three full seasons at Man United? Man United got him for £50 million back in the summer of 2019, got him from Crystal Palace. Uh, Diego Dallo, he'll be staying definitely for this year. Uh, Dallo's not world-class, you know, for me, he's an average player. You know, he's had his good games, especially under Rangnick, and he's had his bad games as well. Uh, Delors' contract at the club expires next year. At one point, Delors had a loan spell with AC Milan. So, reflecting on that again, some experience. Uh, obviously, Manchester United have got Lissandro Martinez. Obviously, he'll be staying for as long as possible. I don't think that's proper official yet, by the way. I don't think he's had the medical and the players' terms haven't been finalised and the visa requirements need to be sorted. But yeah, uh, not so long ago it said that. Lissandro Martinez is set to sign for Man United. It said Man United agreed a £57 million deal with Ajax for Lissandro Martinez. And it said Martinez is set to sign a five-year contract worth over £120,000 a week with an option of an extra year. Uh, obviously, Christian Eriksen, he's going to stay maybe for around two, three years, because Ericsson is, you know, ageing up. Um, not so long ago, it was official that Man United signed Christian Ericsson on a three-year contract. Of course, Manchester United got him on a free transfer. The question is, is Ericsson going to be one of our first-choice midfielders? I think he should be. I told you, I think the first choice midfielders now should be Lisandro Mar not Lisandro Martinez, Christine Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, and Donny van der Beek. That's my opinion. And then obviously your backups, Fred and McTominay. You know, Fred and McTominay should not be first choice now, in my opinion. But yeah, um, revert back to Ericsson. Uh, the second half of last season, he had a loan spell with Brentford. Uh, when he officially signed for Brentford back in January, he did sign, what, a six-month contract. Um, before Brentford, was at Inter Milan. Before then, was at Tottenham. He was a very long-serving player at Tottenham. So he's proven in the Premier League, Ericsson, which is beneficial. And when he was younger, Ericsson, he played for Ajax. He began his career at Ajax.
Uh, revert back to Euro 2020, Christine Eriksen collapsed because he suffered a heart attack. <clears throat> uh, Fred, he'll be staying at the club this year, but I think there's a good chance he'll leave next year. Uh, like, you know, I've got my strong reservations about Fred. Fred has played a hell of a lot of games alongside Scott McTominay in the centre midfield. You know, they don't complement each other, do they? Man United got Fred quite a few years ago from Shakhtar to Ness. Got him in a deal worth £50 million. Uh, Scott McTominay, I think he'll be staying at the club. Um, I think he needs more time. He's still young, got a lot of development in him. Um, like I said, regarding Fred just now, you know, I've got reservations about McTominay. You know, the best games I recall McTominay having, you know, was a 6-2 win against Leeds because he scored twice in that game. He played well in the 5-1 win against Leeds. He played very well against Aston Villa in the Cup last season. So they're the best games I recall him having. Of course, Bruno Fernandes will be staying at Manchester United. Uh, Fernandes, I thought, had a lot of poor games last season. We've struggled to get the best out of Fernandes since Ronaldo re-signed for the club. Before Ronaldo re-signed, though, we was getting the best out of Fernandes. Earlier on this year, Fernandes signed a contract with Man United until 2026. He's been a United player for over two years. Man United got him from Sport in Lisbon back in January 2020. One of the best signings we've made since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. Uh, Donny van der Beek, of course, uh, will be staying at the club. Um, I'm convinced that under Ten Hag he's going to get his opportunities. Under Rangnick and under Solskjaer, van der Beek didn't get enough opportunities. Uh, th that explains why we loaned him out to Everton last season. Man United got van der Beek for my axe in a deal worth 40 million. Uh, Hannibal Meadsbry will be staying. Um, he's only young. He made his first start in the final game against Crystal Palace at the end of last season. I think he started on the left. Uh, Ganacho, he'll also be staying as well. He's a young player. I think now um, Anthony Martial is set to stay at Manchester United. You know, he's had a very good start to pre-season. He scored like three or four goals so far in pre-season as Martial. You know, last season he was out on loan with Sevilla. I told you the best season Martial enjoyed was his debut season under Louis van Gaal. We got Martial from Monaco at the time we got him. He was the most expensive teenager. Martial's been at Man United for, what, seven years? He's got two years left on his contract. Uh, Jadon Sancho will be staying at Manchester United. Uh, we're getting the best out of Sancho now. Uh, Sancho's doing really well in pre-season. He's got like three goals now in pre-season. Uh, Sancho did well towards the end of last season. Don't forget though, Jadon Sancho didn't enjoy a good start to his Manchester United career. You know, but like I said, not every player settles in straight away. Some players need time. Man United signed Sancho from Dortmund last year, was it? Got him in a deal worth £78 million. With add-ons included, Man United paid around £73 million up front. Sancho's got a contract till 2026. There's an option to extend for a further year. Uh, 
Marcus Rashford, um, he'll be staying at the club. Uh, definitely this year he'll be staying. Uh, Rashford hasn't done too bad in pre-season either so far. Um, he's a good young player overall, but for me, Rashford has not been the same player since he had that operation on his shoulder. He missed the first two months of last season with that shoulder problem. Earlier on this year, Rashford rejected a move to Tottenham, didn't he? Um, his contract at Manchester United expires next year. But Rashford came up our academy. He's been part of the club for a long time. He's been a United player since the age of seven and he broke into our senior squad back in 2016. Mason Greenwood, um, not too sure what's happening with him. Last time I read, like I updated G's, bail had been extended following a court hearing. To be honest with you, I think Greenwood's career at Man United is over. He got suspended by the club in January for obviously allegations of like rape and assault and making threats to kill and stuff like that. Um, I still think Man United have got a Mad Diallo as well. Uh, last season he was out on loan with Rangers, wasn't he? Man United got a Mad Diallo from Atalanta. So there you go. But um, we have seen players leave Manchester United this year. Uh, recently, Jesse Lingard left. He joined Nottingham Forest on a free transfer. Well, Lingard's contract expired back in June. Uh, Dean Henderson, of course, went out on loan to Nottingham Forest. Uh, we let Matic go, obviously. He went to Roma. Pogba went. He went back to Juventus. Uh, Juan Matter, of course, left Man United on a free transfer. Uh, we saw Cavani leave earlier on this year. And earlier on this year, Lee Grant announced his retirement. So now, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.